Hi guys, welcome to Firefox Fairy. Um, so we got the new deck. Oh, my screen looks a little blurry. Hold on, guys. All right, there. So we're gonna um, look at the new deck that we just got. Um, we're gonna sage it. This is called Wild Reflections Tarot Deck. It is on YouTube or Amazon. The edges are gilded. And this is the card. It's very nice. King of Swords at the bottom. We are gonna sage it, guys. Um, and we're gonna get some messages. So I hope everybody's good. I hope you are great. This is my last ohm incense. So if you want to, name, to make any gifts or donations to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. My Venmo, Cash App, and um, email and my Amazon wish list are all there. And my bio, the about me. If you want to think about becoming a member as well, joining our Patreon, um, you get to see all the um, spells and all that. Okay. So I hope everybody's good. Happy Sunday. It is the Yellow Ray with Archangel Jophiel with Virtue and Wisdom. My other video from today is loading. It, it happens to go really slow on my iPhone. I don't know why. Um, the uploads. Okay, so we're going to be getting into this deck. It still looks foggy. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. Also, if you are completely new, guys, I do sell seven oils. Um, I sell Facial Glow, which is all natural like Botox. I've been using it for my wrinkles, fine line, blemishes, scars. We have my signature Sex, Love, and Me. It does come with the gold glitter. Um, it's a libido lust. We have our butterfly kisses, which is the sweet flower, hyacinthus, beautiful smell. We have lunar moon. We have more, which is a woodsy grounding smell. It makes you wanting more. We have protection oil and we have guardian angel, all pur purpose protection oil. Um, those are $9.99, $3.99 shipping. They come with in a tie string bag with samples of my other oils. Um, green tourmaline and blue kyanite crystal as well. Um, and perks to being a member. So you get a, um, one a day at your request, a three card pull spread for whatever you want that to be about. Um, so it's like a mini reading for free, one a day. And also you get um, a video, your zodiac sign. So say you're Gemini, Virgo, Libra, and you say, hey, could I get a um, video? done today or this week okay so that's at your request as well guys so that's on me and the house um also if you're just if you're a subscriber you will get a chance to enter into a raffle to become a winner our next raffle is going to be a tarot and an oracle deck um, with a sample of my oil um and a smaller drop size bottle with the crystals okay and samples of my other oils so what do we got here? We got two of wands. These cards are so cute. Four of pentacles. We have two of pentacles. Knight of pentacles. Page of pentacles. And eight of swords. A lot of pentacles. You could have earth in your chart. Eight of swords. Doing a little reflection work. Realizing that you're really not trapped or bound or stuck in your head um, that you can get out of anything you put your mind to. Again, this is called the Wild Reflections on Amazon. All right, this is the Ace of Cups. What a cool card with the Six of Wands. So we're going to get your overall energy. We did have one that come out, two of them actually. Page of Wands, Justice, and Six of Pentacles. Look at all the sunflowers. Oh my, my. You could be um, seeking justice with a fellow fire sign. And when it comes with this beautiful book. And it has like the reversal meanings. All the meanings in this. All wishes deserve to be real. It's on the back. Cool. So we'll keep this. We'll put it up. Um... Yeah, very nice. I really like that. Let's 
let's find a little spot for it there. Okay, and as I go to split the deck, we have the Six of Wands with the Ace of Cups. So it seems to me like you might have your heart set here um, and getting the affection and tension back from another fellow Earth sign if that's what you are seeking. Um, from an Earth sign, a fire, fire sign, or an air sign. Okay. All right, let's get the person on your mind. Let's see what's going on for them, shall we? Four of swords with the six of swords. A lot of air. Oh, and I do do personal readings. They are $40, so feel free to email me or message me. I do read all my comments. Three of swords, four of swords. Is this somebody you're healing from a heartbreak with? Queen of Swords. Okay, they shuffle really nice. Obviously, they don't get stuck on, on the edges. They're nice and thin. Caught. Oh, look at the hangman. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Beautiful. Beautiful cards, guys. Who's moving towards my collective at this time? still really foggy. I gotta find out why. We have the Three of Cups. With the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. My lemon ginger tea. You could be very outdoorsy. Um, like I said, or you could have a lot of earth in your chart. Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups, Four of Wands. So this person could have been very attractive, but they may have had an option between two, um, a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Cups. So they may have been very boisterous or um, why did I think a flamboyant? I don't know. I think this card maybe gives me a little bit of those vibes. The Seven of Swords and the world at the bottom. So maybe they couldn't make up their mind or they thought that you couldn't make up your mind, that maybe you were too busy to settle down on being a commitment or maybe because if you're very attractive, we had, yeah, Queen of Wands, um, that you m may have had a lot of people wanting to be with you or suitors. We have the Page of Swords for their overall energy. Let's get two more, please, for this person's overall energy. I absolutely love this deck, guys. I had to get a bigger deck. I was sick of the little ones. This is only $18.99 on Amazon for this. So Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the tower at the bottom. Look, he's falling from a treehouse. Let's get one more. Thank you. Five of Wands at the bottom and the Chariot. Okay. Um, Cancerian Energy. This person does have their reservations about you. I feel like they are attracted to you, but they might not say it. They might try to keep it on the down low. Let's get the overall energy. The Shared and the Combined. The Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. I feel like you guys have a large um, friend group, so you could meet this person, um, or you know this, who this person is already. I do want to get some um, alphabet cubes from my um, bowl there, just to see their initials. Kind of get a little more in depth. I haven't done that in a while because the books and the decks are covering it, but we will pull from it. We have the Five of Pentacles. So for the overall energy with the Ace of Wands at the bottom. So yeah, this is somebody who probably thought that you would never look at them in this way of, you know, as in being more than friends with them. Um, or maybe you, sh you denied or rejected this person and now you are going to find that you actually are attracted to them and you, you begin seeing this person in a new light. That's for some of you guys as well. So everybody's story um, is going to vary. We have the Ace of Cups under that with the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Look at this beautiful communication coming in. 
I did just do my nails. <laughs> I fixed them. With the ton of swords. Okay, maybe you have to turn somebody else down, though. Um, or reject somebody else in order to make it work with this person. It could be an air sign for some of you guys. Let's get what you don't see coming. And then we'll get the advice. The devil and the high priestess. With the two of swords. Alright, so somebody might be kind of trick, like sneaky and try to lie to your face about this person and say that, oh, they don't have time for you. They don't like you like that. Um, and then it will make you feel like, oh my God, maybe I have to change my motives about this person. Maybe four of cups, maybe they don't like me, Wheel of Fortune. So you feel like you have to immediately close the door to this, the hangman, and rethink things through. Two of cups about this connection and the tower. Nine of cups. Look at this nine of cups, guys. Even the Emperor is pretty cool. Five of Cups under that. So these cards are quite beautiful. Here's the Empress. And then under that is the Ace of Wands. So yeah, there's the cards. Um, so yeah, a lot going on. I wouldn't let this... Um, hurt your feelings though. I feel like this person is just jealous and wants to be with this person or um, find you really pretty or attractive. I feel like it is a feminine that's jealous and I feel like you're, whoever's watching is a feminine, but um, to flip the roles, you know, as, as you see fit. So we have the two of swords with the two of cups coming out with the ten of pentacles at the bottom. Yeah, they only want to get in the way of this connection because they see that it has potential and you could be very intuitive. Your person could be. Or your person may have had an ex, somebody who is very toxic, that they are trying to get away from now as well. Okay, let's. so that's the advice. Use your intuition. Don't allow um, other people um, to, you know, ruin this relationship. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. The Sun with the Lovers. Yeah, you're going to have an opportunity, Page of Cups, to decide or not whether you want to... Be with this person, maybe invite them over for dinner, or just go out on a real first official date with this person. With that Three of Cups energy. They may bring you a bouquet of flowers. Very pretty. Alright, let's find out more. Let's get into it, guys. I'm, I'm curious to see more. All right, let's find out. We are going to pull from the Will Get Love Oracle um, and see if anything else wants to come out pertaining to this connection or this person. We have the Chaser and Self-Indulgence. So what's coming in, please? What does my collectives need to know and be aware of at this time? In regards to these love messages, what are the messages? Yes, yeah, somebody around you was wearing a mask. They were fake. They knew this connection had um, a lot of potential just because you both could be very good people and, you know, doing good for yourselves. So, yeah, maybe they got jealous. Oh. Uh, all right. Ugh. Knocking shit over. Um, and a deck I haven't used in a while that I would like to use is this guy. To kind of clarify, this is an art um, deck, artwork. I think it's like the Mona Lisa or Picasso. I don't know, something weird like that. It's on Temu. All right. So, yeah. Continue moving forward. 
There's self-indulgence again. I feel like that's meant to stay out. With the Grim Reaper. So the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. With self-indulgence. Focus on self. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. Like I said, somebody didn't know what they had till it was gone. And now you have somebody who is loving and fun and who cares about your feelings and your best interest, you know, your interests and will only, you know, that is coming in and that will only care about you. So it's this person's loss. We have the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue, and we have not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy with wedding rings. This could lead to a, um, a marriage. It says union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. We have palm tree with stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So somebody has a lot more feelings for you um, than just being friends. I know that. And maybe you don't even know how this person feels about you. We have talking, interested, conversing, more awaited messages. Waited a message arrives, text, call, email, and hovering. With girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun with heartbroken. Now this person's heartbroken over you. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, the breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Well, that's their fault. That's their problem. I'm hearing the song last night. Last night we let the liquor talk. All right, let's get from my oracle. See how they're feeling on a deeper level or what you want to say. I just want to kiss you all over your body and I know I was wrong. What's coming in please for my collectives at this time? Scorpio. So a Scorpio knows they were wrong. All eyes on you. You're attracting admirers, and I'm not the only one who notices. Okay. You have the most sexy eyes, is what somebody's feeling or thinking. Somebody could also be overthinking. Is this too good to be true? Does so-and-so really like me back? Does Collective really like me back? All right, somebody could have a foot fetish. Or boob and butt, boob and ass fetish. We have, I'm all the way addicted to you. And free-spirited, give me more time. I'm not quite sure what I want. We have water elements, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Scorpio. I have three placement Scorpio in my chart. Thinking of you, thinking of me. You are in this person's mind, vice versa. I'm hearing Clary Sage for some reason. I don't know. Maybe you guys may have just used it. I take my words back. We have Sagittarius and we have fire elements. I still have three placements of Sagittarius. Hmm. Somebody takes their words back. I don't know if you guys just maybe said something to this person or they said something to you, but they are overthinking now and they're feeling bad for five the pentacles maybe leaving you out in the cold. Or vice versa. There was probably a collision of energy and exchanges or viewpoints. Let's make up and let's make sweet love. Yeah, this person's feeling bad now. Let's get a couple more, guys. We have let's make up and let's make sweet love. We have I want to be with you one day and I know I was wrong. All right, we have physically and sexually attracted to you. Confirmation. Anything else? Mm. 
I can't get you out of my system. I oh, guess I want to read my email quick. Hmm. FedEx. All right, I'll have to get back to that when I'm done. All right, will you talk to me, please? So somebody, oof. like I said, you may be blocking somebody for your own best interest. I'm hearing you weren't wrong. I don't know where that's coming from. Let's get my love oracle. Uh, let's find out. I'm hearing you weren't wrong. So I don't know if this person was trying to blame you for something or tell you that you were in the wrong about something collective but no just know that you weren't in the wrong you did the right thing i don't know if you stood up for yourself or um what the case is here but let's find out what's going on yeah unfinished business it's not over patterns back and forth baggage with unexpected surprise unpredictable shocking unusual Getting the feeling that some of you guys have your stuff left over at their place or your place, vice versa, they will be back to get it or um, whatever. Uh, they might use that an excuse as an excuse just to come talk to you or see who you're talking to. Um, I think it's a it's a game, it's a tactic, it's breadcrumbing. Yeah, we have surrender and text message, letting go, release, give up, and patience with com uh, communication, news, phone call, and direct message. Yeah, they might be trying to cock block you too. I get that energy. We're going to get what's the T and figure that out. Let's get a couple more from this deck. So spirit and universe is telling you to surrender. You have somebody much better that is coming in for you. And you're going to want to close off all um, any connection with whoever this past person was because the Spirit's saying they were a snake. Deception, shady, temptation, and enemy. Wolf in sheep's clothing for some of you guys. Especially if they stole from you, they lied to you, they disrespected your things, your stuff. Tried walking all over you, lying, breadcrumbing, cheating on you. Okay, yeah, you're going to have a reconciliation with somebody new and home. Uh, reunion, second chance, back together with I miss you. And comfort, safety, belonging, and shelter. Yeah, you guys are going to need to move on and stay close to home. Maybe block this person out once and for all. Let's get what's the tea. Okay, we're going to make this a quick video because I do got to check my emails um, before work tomorrow. I got my nails done today too. My day off play with the dog I gotta let him out what's coming in so we have travel and sh talking shit so this past person like I said might be talking shit or trying to make it seem like you were going back to you were in the wrong that everything was your fault the blame game you know what I mean this person probably is mad and mature for their age um yeah shine your light irritates their demons they have a dirty offer for you like I said, they just want to play a game with you, the back and forth, the breadcrumbing. Don't even pay no mind. Just block this person. We have photo proof, getting evidence. Told you, they're trying to see what you're up to. I'm hearing they're a sleaze bag, a dirt ball, a dirt bag. We have love on the brain. Dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, nostalgic. We have kissing ass, so they're going to try to kiss your ass. Meanwhile, they're dirt digging. Like I said, you need to continue ignoring this person, this piece of crap. They're going to get bad karma for whatever they are doing now or trying to do or done to you in the past. They're going to get karma. Your ancestors are probably taking care of that right now. It's in the works, I'm hearing. We have grudge holder. This person probably has a grudge against you. That's why they're doing shit on purpose. They're a forcer. Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. They're a user and abuser too, could be. An ego, her ego, e ego getting in the way of relationship, etc. Because you had this person hooked to you. Because you were creative. You were too busy winning and you're not wasting your time 
Stuck, no changes, limited. If nothing changes, nothing changes, and this person knows that. Steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates and feeds off of you. <clears throat> You're probably the breadwinner, you know, the money maker. Or the one with all the ideas. This person was a fucking, probably a false or just a leader. Or follower in general, not a leader. Alright, so this person, we have ain't shit. We have fake accounts and we have child services. So they may have kids as well. And crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. So that's what we have out of this deck. Alright, let's see um, what the new person wants to say to you. Uh, excuse me. Wow. We're going to pull a couple from this deck, and then we're going to pull from the Hidden Truth Oracle. All right. Wheel of Fortune, Two of Swords. So they may be hesitant if this person knows um, a little bit about, about your past or your background or whoever this crazy stalker X person is. So I would make sure that you go in a clean slate. We have the lovers, balance, love, relationship with four pentacles, stability, conservation, and security with king of swords, discipline, power, and truth. Yeah, this person isn't going to let anything happen to you. They're going to treat you well. They are um, hanging on to you and their ideas where this con connection can go. They want to see it take off the ground. With Page of Pentacles, opportunity, willpower, and desire. Exactly. They have a lot of desire for this union with you. The lovers. Let's get two more. Ace of Swords at the bottom. All right. Clarity, focus, and breakthrough. That was here in that Clary Sage. We have the star. So... Re uh, rejuvenation, confidence, and hope. Also inspiration, Aquarius energy. And we have six of cups. Memories, healing, and re restoration. Nostalgic, reminiscing. Um, memories, childhood memories. We also have the magician. So this is manifesting. They are manifesting this. Willpower, action, and creation. So you're going to have a breakthrough here pretty soon with this person. Also, Nine of Pentacles under that. Prosperity, luxury, and reward. The Five of Pentacles. Again, awareness, worry, and insecurity. Oh, it's called the Claude Monet art. Claude, Claude Monet Tarot. Um, tell me. Knight of Wands. Adventure, conquest, action with the world. Harmony, completion, fulfillment. And Queen of Wands, Charisma, Confidence, and Joy. With Death, Scorpio Energy, we have Transformation, Rebirth, and Change. So you guys are both outdoorsy. Like I was saying, you guys probably love to travel or go camping or just love spending time outdoors. We have the High Priestess, Mystery, Wisdom, and Intuition. And the Six of Swords, transition, moving, and travel. They're coming right to you. They're, they might even try to uh, start off slow and just talk to you, start up, strike up a conversation um, just to get to know you or be like, hey, what's up? Show up in your inbox. So that is a sure number one way sign that this person is interested and wants to take it further and be more than friends. Um, so the, the signs might not be all flashing right, right in your face, but... This is just a slow start to, you know, forming a little connection, okay? We have strength, so power, self-belief, and courage. They're gaining the courage. Maybe they don't have um, all the their eggs in a row, but they are um, finding the confidence and the courage to come towards you. The di uh, discipline and the power with that King of Swords, truth. Page of Pentacles, willpower, desire, and opportunity. Okay, anything else we need to know? The sun, vitality, optimism, and success. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, so this is what it takes to withstand the storms of time. Opportunity, abundance, and luck. 
with vitality, optimism, and success. Very nice. We have page of cups, sensitivity, dreamer, and surprise with justice, truth, responsibility, and clarity. And we have Ten of Swords, Failure, Defeat, and Collapse, with Knight of Swords at the bottom. Uh, action, Impulsiveness, and Defense. Don't let this person come back in, this past person, and try to tear down what you've already built. That's why I said if you need to block them, do whatever you have to do. You can do an energy cord cutting if you need to do that. Um, okay, let's see. All right, any other final messages? Yeah, let's get from the Enchanted Map Oracle. And the Moonology. Okay, we're gonna pull off with the Moonology just to see uh, maybe what zodiac sign you could be dealing with if, if you don't already know or maybe you don't you know this person but you don't know their zodiac sign for some of you guys we have surrender to the divine full moon with a win-win outcast or outcome is forecast full moon in libra my phone looks so dirty i'm gonna have to clean it okay what are some zodiac signs that um it's going to could be coming towards my collectives at this time. What is some zodiac signs, please? Also hearing some of you guys need to take a spiritual bath or a break, a spiritual break retreat to cleanse your energy and cut ties from whoever this past person is. Because I am getting a mean, bold like strong-headed that forcer energy tries to force things on you or being forceful with you so you really want to cleanse that cleanse your home cleanse you yourself anything maybe they left there i would get rid of it burn it do whatever you got to do get it off your property throw it away all right what's coming in please Or just sage it and cleanse it. We have a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. We have, it's time to release negativity. Exactly. Full moon in Scorpio. Have faith in your dreams. So we have Sagittarius, Libra, and Scorpio so far. We also have Capricorn and Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. And this card just came out, Mountain. You've overcome maybe a, a hard a challenge. And then we have look at the bigger picture, Full Moon and Sagittarius. All right. We have Prosperity Lies Ahead, so again, another Taurus card. We have You and Your Loved Ones Are Safe, New Moon and Cancer. We have Step Out of Your Comfort Zone, North Node, with Virgo Energy. You are good enough, Full Moon and Virgo. And Hold Your Vision at the Bottom, Fixed Moon. So we have Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Virgo energy. Earth and water and air and fire. What do you need to release? Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse with surrender to the divine. All right, that's out of this deck. Very nice. Thank you, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Those messages. Okay, let's get the enchanted map, shall we? So you could be working, focusing, focusing on right now healing the ouch with home. We have solitude and home. Very nice.
What else place is coming in for my viewers? We have Spirit of Place, we have Sacred Pool, and we have Dry Desert. 4, 47, and 31. We have 11, Balancing Act. Something may not be as it all seems. We have Commitment with Into the Unknown. We have Coming to Life, number 29. We also have 27, Home, and 17, Ghostlands. And number nine, Stormfields. Yeah, as you break out of this old cycle, you're weaving together a new life for yourself, a new, um, maybe you had like a comfort level with this person, so it might take you a little while to unweave those. Um, spirit of Place, we have Sacred Pool and Dry Desert, so it may take you a minute to get rebalanced and realigned in your life where you're at now, but things aren't um, hopeless. Okay, so <sighs> ghost lands. I think that's about. Um, I don't really want to get the book out, but if I have to, let me see. Yeah, because I got cards everywhere. All right, that's fine. Um, one second, guys. A lot of cards. All right, so 17, Ghostlands. Talks about, you can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. Okay. Then we have um, Sacred Pool, number 47. This talks about the world as a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. Then we have Dry Desert, 31. Dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Then we have Spirit of Place, number four. Authenticity is the essence of power. Our ancient ancestors believed that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own essence. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, which that was the first card out, it says that the answer to your quarry is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. We have... Um, Balancing Act, we have Coming to Life, Home, Ghost Lands, and Stormfields. Um, relax and control. It. Relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question and then name it, you'll discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is in your authenticity. So let's get to 29, Coming to Life, because I feel like that will have a lot to do. And then we'll do 11, Balancing Act. Something beautiful is being born in your life. When you look at your life, you can see how you've grown and evolved over time. Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time, and Spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own. This card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax, in, coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for manifestation of this dream, and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. So 11, Balancing Act. Oh, I'm glad I grabbed the book, huh? I don't ever use this deck that often. Um, you are calm within no matter the fluctuation of outer conditions. So upright, it says, There are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and it feels as if you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. 
Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now is is the moment to evaluate which areas of your life need balance and then restore equi equilibrium. Choose harmony over discord and great success will be yours. You'll find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused, and level path. Okay, I want to see what um, number nine Stormfields is all about. Did we read Dry Deserts? I don't think we did. 31 says dig deep for inspiration and truth now is the time to become resilient and adaptable yes we did is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to be to yield nothing have your ideas dried up does it feel like you're on an endless journey through a dry hot lifeless desert this card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as your journey through harsher circumstances you're being required to conserve your energy until after consistent effort you reach the oasis you're searching for. Consider the creatures that live in the in these conditions. They have adapted to thrive in spite of other of the outer environment. In a desert, water, essential for life, can be found deep uh, underground. Go deep within yourself now. Find the truth there. Let spirit sustain you while you locate the real source. Whatever it is you're asking about, will not be found in the conditions you're in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answer answers deep within you. This may not seem like the most productive time, but looks are deceiving. This is the most important place to find what you're find what's truly right for you. I call on my nails. I did it too long an accident. All right, so yeah, that's what we have, guys, out of that deck. All right. Let's pull from the wisdom, see what um, Source wants to say, because you have a commitment coming in for some of you guys. Yeah, let's get the wisdom. Thank you for sticking around. If you made it this far in the video, let me know down in the comments if this sounds like your story or hit the like button so I know that it resonates. Okay, let's get some advice, please, for my collective. Let's get some advice. The wisdom out of the whole reading tonight for my viewers. Any other final messages they need to know? Before we part our ways yeah go the distance 47 spirits advising you because you already have a deep knowing that the fates are bringing something wonderful and aligned gonna be aligned in your life as long as you focus on the here and the now and you go deep and do the inner healing with flexible we have co-create I also seen community co-create with building blocks, starting from scratch for some of you. Happy, happy. It's just around the corner. Look at it that way. Uh, new life. With chop wood, what needs to go? Reevaluate. With clean it up. All right, that's what I have for you guys here tonight. Let me know. Take care, stay blessed. Don't forget about my oils and my summer star flower protection wreaths. Check them out on my page and my bio. Um, I mean, in my playlist. Sending love and light. Take care now. Bye-bye.